Now let's build a Pinterest clone. First, let's take a look at a cool Pinterest clone that Ashley built. So the theme of her Pinterest was Wintrist, the notion of awesome victories. And you can even watch this video that'll explain kind of how she came up with the idea. So let's go ahead and log in. We can connect with Twitter. And now it's redirecting me back. And here we go, we see some wins that are popping up here. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can create one of our own. So if we go to our win board, we see that I've already created two of these and I'm gonna add a win. So what that means is I'm going to need a URL. So let's think of something that's really cool. Um, a winner is you. This is a cool meme from some old video game. It's just like really bad grammar. So we'll just copy the image URL. And a winner is you. We'll paste the link here. And you can see how quickly it fetched that. It's great. And then we choose image. Video is eventually going to be supported. And you can see it shows up right there in my pin board. And it even swapped the position of these two, which is pretty cool. Now we can go ahead and look at all the recent wins. And we can see that my new win is right here. Pretty cool, huh? So I can go and uh, I can like other people's wins. So I can like this US World Cup team, the Women's World Cup team that just won. Um, we can like and unlike other things too. So it's pretty cool. And um, let's take a look at the user stories. First, as an unauthenticated user, I can log in with Twitter. As an authenticated user, I can link to images, which we did. As an authenticated user, I can delete images that I've linked to. And as an authenticated user, I can see a Pinterest style wall of all the images I've linked to. And as an authenticated user, I can browse other users' walls of images. I don't need to be authenticated for that. So basically it's kind of like a public Pinterest file, very similar to Pinterest, much of the same functionality. And as a bonus user story, as an authenticated user, if I upload an image that is broken, it will be replaced by a placeholder image. And you can do this with jQuery broken image detection. Quick hint, Mason, masonry.js is an excellent library that will allow for you to have the Pinterest style grids where different objects of different heights fit in, it's kind of like bricking it, it's a, a sequence of bricks like you see on Pinterest or like you saw here on Winterest. Just to make sure that um, you see that. See how these are different height and it kind of figures out what to put where and make it look reasonably good. That is Masonry JS. So um, I think you can have a lot of fun with this. Choose a cool theme, make it fun, and we're looking forward to seeing it. Enjoy.